it's absolutely true that we have to bear in mind the extent to which there is an unrepresentative nature to social media that it's it's the kids who tend to use it it's it's the under 30s within reason actually i i mean the the the, the demographic profile of social media is probably the age groups are probably higher than to some extent we give credit for. But there is always a risk that because it is easily accessible, it's easily available, when it, uh, journalism in particular is under an enormous financial pressure and it's expensive to send people overseas, let alone get them to report in very difficult, uncomfortable and sometimes dangerous circumstances. So it's actually easy and and, and lazier just to grab the images and the the quotes that are coming out of um, out of twitter and out of facebook and, and out of mobile phones um so there's no question that news organizations need to be wary of both the accuracy and the un potentially unrepresentative nature of what they're getting and that raises actually quite important questions for the professionalism of the way in which though that information is interpreted to what extent are the people at that end, at the receiving end, filtering that information and saying, hang on a minute, we're not, we can't just put that out raw. We can't just say this is what is happening. We have to find out to what extent it, it represents the reality of what is happening. Now, having said that, that is a, an age old question for the media. You know, just because you have cameras that are present at an event, and we, we know this, you know, go back to the images of the miners' strike in the 1980s and the research done by the Glasgow Media Group, the images that you are seeing on your television screens, they are images of what actually happened, but it depends on which side of the lines your cameras are. The requirements on professional journalists have not changed in the sense of thinking about the way in which they, they interpret the images and... And, and, and the provenance uh, of, of, of the images and the information that they're getting. It's just that the way in which they're transmitted, the nature of that transmission, the nature of the distribution mechanisms are now different. They're, they're, they're more immediate and in some ways, ironically, they're even more dramatic than you know pictures through television cameras because they are so raw, because they're so uh, unedited, and they're live, and they are from such a, a, a diverse uh, group of sources. Rather than getting a sort of unified, a, a, a unilateral sense of what's going on, you're getting a much more multilateral, multifaceted sense of, of what's going on. But it still means it, it. It still doesn't mean that you 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 shouldn't simply abdicate any professional journalistic responsibility to to interpret what you're getting.